If you guys ever felt like you needed to add some skin texture to your subject in Photoshop, this episode is perfect for you. Hey guys, my name is Aaron Nace. You can find us on Twitter at Flurn. Be sure to subscribe, share, and comment below if you like this video. We make many, many more of them. We're gonna jump right into Photoshop. We've got a great episode for you guys today. We're gonna actually make a custom brush that's going to look like skin texture, and then I'm gonna show you how to apply it on top of your subject. Really, really cool. So this is our image we're using today. This is by Matka, and he's one of the contest winners from our last contest. So if you guys want us to edit your images, just submit them to our contest on flurn.com. Now, there's not a whole lot of skin texture in this image. There's a little bit, but I'm gonna show you guys a really great way where you can actually add more skin texture, and we're gonna use it, we're gonna do it with a custom brush. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command N to create a custom brush. Let's just go ahead and make this 500 pixels by 500 pixels, and we're gonna hit OK. There we go. Now here we wanna create something that's gonna look like, kinda of like freckles or like little bits of uh, black or white or whatever whatever you have. So I'm gonna grab my lasso tool. This is not something where you have to be incredibly precise. You can kinda of just like make a little couple shapes. So with my lasso tool, I'm gonna to make a shape that looks like this, and then we're gonna create a new layer. And then I'm gonna hit Alt or Option, Delete, which fills the foreground color. And in this case, the foreground color is black. So my main goal here is just to, I don't want these to be like round. Like I, I don't want these to be perfectly round. I just want them to be like little weird like bits. Okay, now in the end, these are actually gonna be wind up being really, really small. So I'm not too concerned about, you know, if they're kind of like a weird shape or whatever like that. Um, there we go. Kind of like the, the weirder, the better in this case. So just little bits. All right, and that looks pretty good. I'm gonna just zoom in so you can kind of see what these look like. Now you could just grab a, a brush tool. You can make these any way you want to, but that's, that's how we're going to make them here. And this is gonna be a little bit of like a, a trial and error. All right, let me just erase this guy just a little bit. Okay, looking good. So this is going to become our skin texture. Now, what I'm gonna do is go to edit and then down here to define brush preset, and I'm just gonna call this skin texture. Hit okay, and we're good to go. So now I'm on my brush tool, and I, if I paint around just like this, it's just going to look like it's skin texture. I grab my brush tool, go all the way down to the bottom. There we go, it's just gonna make little bits of that stuff. All right, really not that useful now. I'm gonna show you how we can actually start to use it. Let's go to Window, and then down to Our Image by Matka. Okay, now we're on a new layer, and we can see these are relatively large. So we've made them 500 by 500 pixels, which is our canvas size, so that's the size of our brush. We're gonna make it quite a bit smaller now. There we go, and we can see what that looks like. Let's make it even smaller. Okay, and we're gonna need to zoom in here. Very cool. Now I'm on a new layer, so we're just gonna kinda play around real quick. On this new layer, I'm gonna go to Window and then down here to Brush, which is gonna open our brush menu. And now there are a few settings that I wanna click on that are just gonna, like, it's gonna change the size and the scattering and the color and all that kinda of cool stuff. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn on Shape Dynamics here. We're gonna click here and I'm gonna turn Size Dynamic, <laughs> Size Jitter all the way up and then the minimum diameter down. So some of these will be a little bit larger, some of these will be a little bit smaller. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit smaller and we can see how that looks. All right, there we go. And we can already see it's kinda like, oh yeah, that's kinda cool. It's actually looking like skin textures because some of these, like it's just kinda like changing how large and small they are. Now I'm gonna change angle jitter all the way up as well because it was kinda like the same pattern repeating over and over again. Now they're gonna like, each one of them will be rotated around. So just here, when it looks like this, it should just look like a bunch of little speckles. Now what's nice is if you had a larger portrait, you could zoom in, you could make your brush a little larger and match the skin size to that. So it should just look like little freckles and things like that. And um, that's pretty much what we want right there. Now if you wanted to bring in some scattering, you could do that too and have these scatter all around. Let's do that as well, why not? And then I'm gonna click on transfer and flow jitter I'm gonna turn up as well. So some of these will be like lighter and some of these will be a little bit darker. All right, and that's basically what we're painting with right now. And you can see it looks a little bit more natural because they're not just like, they're not just little round, you know, like objects here. They're, they've got all those weird shapes to them. All right, so we've got our brush. I'm gonna go ahead and save it because I like it. I'm gonna click on this menu, go to new br brush preset, and we're just gonna call it skin texture one. 
Okay, now how do we actually get this to look like skin texture? Um, there are, that's a really good question. There are a lot of great ways to do it. So let's start off with just painting with black and I'm just gonna paint black and at 100% and I'm gonna start painting right over here on our subject's face. Just kind of cover it up. Why not? Okay, that's looking good. We're gonna change this layer blend mode now from normal to soft light. And that's gonna just kind of like bring in a little bit of that darkness. So we can see here, it's kind of like bringing in, there we go, it's gonna look a little bit better. Now, since we did paint with black, kind of looks like stubble instead of actually like, you know, skin texture, or like what would actually be on a face. So instead of painting with black, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna hold alter option and I'm gonna choose a color that's like pretty dark in here and choose a color that actually exists in the skin tone of our subject. So let's hit Command A, hit delete on that again, and now I'm gonna start painting around, there we go, with this color. Let's just change this back to, from the soft light back to normal. All right, so we can see kind of like what we're getting here. It's just to totally random spattering. Now, if you guys wanted to make like freckles, like add freckles to a subject, this would be a perfect way to do that as well. There we go, and we'll kind of come up here. There we go. And let's change this from normal down here to soft light. So we can kind of see that skin texture is really starting to come through here. I'll open this, this area here, there we go, and in the shadows as well. All right, so if you're on your image and you're noticing that maybe it's too much or not enough, or it's, you know, Neat. you feel like you, maybe you need a little bit more, you can just paint a little bit more in and you can always grab your eraser tool and kind of like paint a little bit out as well. Like if you have a soft round brush for your eraser, there we go. Let's just kind of like paint a little bit of this out of there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now that was basically taking care of where the shadows were. I wanna take care of the highlights as well and that we're gonna do with the same brush. So let's create a new, brush, new layer. I'm gonna just go all the way down to that brush that I just made. There we go. And instead of painting with this dark color, we're gonna paint with white. So I'm just gonna paint around here with white. And then we can use soft light if we wanna do that. There we go, looking pretty good. You can use soft light here, or you could just change this layer. You can leave it normal because this is such a light colored image. But let's see what soft light looks like. All right, so we're just gonna change this from normal down here to soft light. Okay, that looks really good as well. So I'm just gonna use the either your eraser tool or a layer mask, really whatever you want, to just kind of like erase it or get it, you know, not visible in the areas where you don't want it to be visible. That's relatively easy, right? Um, the best way to do this to kind of contain both of them, because it is just a random scattering of particles, would just be to shift click on both of them, hit Command G to group them together, and then you could put a layer mask there. Let's just put a layer mask on that group. And then I'm just gonna paint with a regular, you know, totally regular brush here. Uh, I'm gonna paint black. There we go. Let's just choose a soft round brush. Okay, and I'm gonna paint black outside of the skin. So if it's like, you know, on the, on the shawl or other areas like this, we just, you know, we don't want it to be visible over top of the eyes and over top of the mouth. And these areas are over here. So using a layer mask and having both of those layers kind of combined into one. And here's what we get. Let's just zoom in a little bit more so you can kind of see what we've got. But there's our before and our after with just adding a little bit of skin texture to our subject. And here zoomed out to like the proper, the proper degree. You can see the skin texture really does start to show up, especially you know in the areas around her arm. And if we were zooming in, you'd be able to see a little bit more. So really quick and easy. And the great thing about this is because they're on separate layers, both the shadows and the highlights, you can adjust them afterwards. So if you don't want those like dark specks to show up as much, you could just click on the layer itself and change your opacity. It's like, oh, I don't want that to be as bright or I don't want that to be as dark. And you can continue to create layer after layer of this, but it's super quick way. And now you've taken the time, you made the brush, you can use this exact same brush on any portrait you have. Just paint that skin texture in and you'll be good to go. Soft light's gonna work really well and then you just wanna erase it from the areas that you don't want. And uh, that's pretty much it. Should work on every single photo you have. Guys, thanks so much for watching Flurn. I hope you enjoyed this time hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, share it with all of your friends, and comment down below. Tell us, did you like this technique? Did you not like it? Do you have a different technique going on? Do you create skin texture in a different way? Did you find on another website like, oh, so it's just and such showed us a different way to do skin texture. Can you cover that? We'd love to help you out. So thanks so much, guys. 
We'll see you later. Bye, everyone. Bizzica bam! Woo! Do we want to, for a blooper? Are we still doing bloopers?